a publisher journey video of the day. How you doing? Um, today, um, worked on a couple of books. Uh, my latest book that I'm going to publish next is How Expert Guide to How Expert Guide to Cooking. Okay, learn how to cook for for those of you who are interested in cooking all kinds of foods. I included foods foods and dishes from all continents. I'm talking about North America, South America, you know, Africa, Asia, Europe, and you name it. So I wanted to make it a comprehensive guide, uh, a go-to guide about cooking. So I had another book about cooking, like Moroccan food back in the days, but I want to make sure I have a go-to guide that covers all aspects of cooking. So I decided to create a book on this because one of my goals is I want to cover at least one book for all the core categories of life. Okay, cooking, health and uh, fitness, money and finance, education, you name it. So I pretty much have all of those. And the next book I'm working on is, actually two more books I'm working on after that. Um, the content is pretty much finished. One is about pets, okay, how, how expert guys do pets. So you're gonna learn how, to, if you're interested in getting a pet and you're not sure what type of pet to get, this book it will just teach you basically what type of pet to choose and go from there you know and uh it'll, co it'll, it'll, co it'll show you what type of pet to get whether it's a dog cat reptile fish birds whatever all aspects of pets okay not am animals i'll do a book about animals separately but this is just a book about pets okay things you can keep as a pet okay the next book after that, uh, I just finished the content and the formatting. The basic formatting is a book about um, after pets, I'm working on oh, travel, travel and adventure. I was going to call it How Expert Guide to Travel, but I decided, you know what, let's just do How Expert Guide to Travel and Adventure. Okay, so that's another core category, actually, uh, travel and adventure. So I say, you know what, let's do a book on that, too. Okay, so I got three books. One is about cooking. The next one. It could be either pets or travel and adventure, okay? In terms of publishing, those are, uh, I'm not sure which one I'm going to publish next, but those are the three next books I have. After I cover all the core categories, then I want to go into the unique niche topics, which is kind of like my favorite, because I like to go into unique niches where there's no competition and it's easier to, you know, dominate the niche like a dictator, basically. Um, uh, dominate the niche because... There's no one else doing it, you know, so those are the type of niches I like to go into. So I already have my niche topics ready. And one little side note, um, I just discovered that AI, ChatGPT, at least for the paid version, I'm not sure about the free version, I haven't tested it yet, but the paid version, now you can generate images, AI images, using ChatGPT. You don't have to use mid-journey. I mean, you could if you want, but... ChatGPT can generate images. I think they did it before, back in the days. But I just didn't use it back in the days. Um, but I just found out. Oh, you just put in put in the prompt. Just tell them, you know, give me you know, a person cooking, you know, spaghetti or something. A chef cooking spaghetti. It will, have, it will generate images like in five seconds. So ChatGPT can be used uh, as AI for text or images. Okay, so... That's a pretty cool thing I discovered recently. And so any book content, any books and topics that require images to learn, I'm going to use ChatGPT. Simple. I don't have to go back and forth between this and mid-journey and back and forth. Just use ChatGPT and simple. Okay, so uh, that's a quick update behind the scenes. And uh, if, other, if there's any books I did in the past that require images, that need images... I'll add images, and I'll find it from uh, ChatGPT, basically. So that's pretty much it. I mean, in terms of uh, little updates behind the scenes, um, yeah, I got a lot of books to publish. I got about three to five. I haven't mentioned a couple other book topics that I've already generated in terms of content, but I need to add images, and that ChatGPT solved the problem. Because sometimes when I search on deposit photos and Shutterstock, there's not enough options. I cannot find the images. So, deposit photos sometimes doesn't have the images I'm looking for, right? So, um, yeah, any other book topics that require images to learn, 
I'm going to go use ChatGPT. Stay tuned for my future books, okay? Got to go. Thanks for watching. Oh, yeah, I'm using a new, new phone now, so the camera is probably better, I think. Just got a new one, and uh, that's it for right now. Thank you. Talk soon. All right, take care. Bye.